Water is at the heart of who we are and everything we do. We live through water. I think there's probably some intrinsic, maybe almost primeval bond that human beings have with water. Quenching our collective thirst is one of the great human and technical challenges of this century. Water analysts predict that worldwide by 2030, we could face a 40% shortfall between supply and demand. I think the most important question is what is the role that people can play in urban water management? Many cities are still treating rivers as their junkyard um, and it is very challenging environmentally. Singapore, modern, ambitious and complex. A city-state that's always known that managing water is a case of sink or swim. Even before we were independent, during the days of the British, we already had to import water uh, from Malaysia. And so from day one of our independence, I think, uh, trying to be sure that we could be sustainable in water has always been a strategic uh, priority. One of those strategies is large-scale recycling. Used water is treated and cleaned to make what's known as new water. It supplies a third of Singapore's needs. The visitor centre next to the new water plant is a key tool to explain why every drop counts. The most direct way that you can think of is you have to really, uh, you know, uh, really put it into the education uh, system that people are learning that water is not something that can easily be obtained. Uh, it's not as easy as turning on the tap. And then you go from there. Making water management a public process is one way to increase awareness. Marina Barrage is an expression of how Singapore's water policy trickles through everyday life. It's an engineering project turned public park. Initially, the idea was to create a barrage, which is really a flood barrier to prevent the high tide from flooding the lower parts of the city. But with the advent of membrane technology and our ability to be able to clean the water for drinking, the barrage also began to double up as a dam so that we could keep the water as a source of water supply. And then once you've done that, you, you in fact create a nice recreational lake in the heart of the city. It's one thing to recycle and conserve water, and another to find fresh supplies. And yet, one source is lapping at our shores. We are an island, we are surrounded by the sea. I think there are many, many coastal cities in the world uh, that will need to rely on uh, the, the sea for the source of water. 10% of Singapore's daily supply of water comes from the sea. The flow begins here, at Asia's largest desalination plant. Local firms have become specialists in turning salt water to drinking water, and that's become good business. Ten years ago, we used to see only five, six desalination plants per year, and right now we are seeing 10 to 20 times that amount per year in terms of proposal, ranging from the traditional Middle East, North Africa region, to the USA, to Latin America, to India, to Southeast Asia, as well as, uh, of course, China. Worldwide, cities are growing, and with that, the need to secure water supplies. And water, whether too little or too much, touches nearly every aspect of urban life. Singapore is a very dense city and we will probably continue to grow economically, population. There will always be, be new challenges and new problems to solve. Uh, and I think urbanisation and climate change are, I think, two of the biggest ones that, that confronts us. We live life through water and managing it well is the work of a lifetime. <laughs>